Hello, it's Epsilon Emerald. Welcome back to my channel. And today, we are going to be doing something that is very common. Um, this isn't an original idea at all. But um, I think it'll be fun. Which is, we are going to tier rank every Gen 1 Pokemon. But since this is ASMR, we will be doing it using Pokemon cards so that we can have some nice card noises. Um, so I have here my collection, which I call my Pokedex collection. I'm missing Alakazam. Alakazam's quite a hard card to get because of the whole lawsuit thing. Um, I did have like Alakazam EXs, um, but I don't like EXs in this collection. They don't go. And stops there with Mew. I do have the other generations as well, but we're just going to do Gen 1. So, we need to set up the, um, uh, I don't know, the board. <laughs> um, most people do this on a computer. Um, but I thought that wouldn't be very good for ASMR reasons, so we're doing this uh, completely non-digitally. So I'm just going to... Um, so S, A, B, C, D, E, F, that's seven. Let's do... I love these bits. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm. Okay, that would be good. I didn't need three pieces of paper. Oh well. Good. <laughs> mm, not the best. Okay, so these are going to be the um, titles. So let's have S. GB C D E and F. Fun fact, if you'd like to know it, <laughs> in England uh, you don't get F. It we for fail we use U. So after E, it goes U. There is no F. But I'm just doing the, the way that everyone does it. Actually, not everyone does this. Some people give them, like, names. Um, but I thought I'd go with this. Oh, I mean, obviously, we don't have S either in England. Um, 
that's like a, I feel like S is a very Japanese thing. Like, I associate it with Sonic. You know, when you do like a Sonic level and you get like an S tier. Okay. So let me just lay these out. Make sure they're in frame. I'm going to have to move that up a bit. Oh, that's a bit wonky. Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. All right, now, should I take all the Pokemon out first and then put them down, or should I take them? No, well, okay, we'll take them out as we need them. I think I'm going to count evolutions as like one thing rather than um, doing them all separately. Okay, so first nine. Take a look at these cards, by the way. I'm, I don't remember exactly the set symbols, but I think this one might be platinum. Um, that looks like a pop. Pop three. That's platinum. I'm pretty sure. It's a nice hollow. Um, that is. Um, uh, maybe legendary treasures? No, mm, I don't know. Um, oh, see, I recognize, I just don't remember the, I don't remember the symbols. Um, that's not an original base set, <laughs> that's evolution. Um, that's, oh no, no, that looks like the platinum symbol. No, or is it gold silver? Ah. <laughs> I don't remember. I think that's platinum and this is... Oh, I don't know. I said I don't like EXs and then I have an EX on the first page. I think this is like my only Blastoise that I had though. I don't know. Okay, so let's rate these. So, um this family. Um, I think Venusaur's kind of cool, like it gets the um, stun spore and sleep powder. Um, I don't think Venusaur's particularly pretty, but I think Bulbasaur is really cute. I, it, to me it's just, it's not like that great. I'm, I think I'll say B tier. Like, it's good because it's, um, you know, it's a starter um, that you get early on in the game. It evolves pretty quickly. You know, like, it's it's Venusaur at level 32. It's pretty good, but I'm not, like, excited about it. Okay. These guys. Um, honestly, Charizard Char Char is pretty good. Like, I'm not this person who, like, always chose Charmeleon back in the day, you know, I, I wasn't that person. Um, I'm not, like, some crazy Gen 1 fan of Charizard. But, he could learn Fly. He was pretty good, honestly. Did I use Charizard in my Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke? I think I did. Um, and he's pretty useful. So I'm going to say A. And then we have these guys. Now Squirtle is my favourite of the three starters. I think it's the cutest. And I think Blastoise is probably the coolest out of all of them. But I, it's, it's not as useful as Charizard. And to be honest, it's not as useful as Venusaur either. Because Venusaur had really cool, like, status moves. Blastoise, I mean, you, you could surf, but 
I always used Vaporeon for surf, so... But then Blastoise has the nostalgia factor for me because in my first um, and only playthrough of Blue, um, which I st and I still have that saved to this day, the battery hasn't actually run out yet, but I'm too scared to check. Um, I used Blastoise in that. Even though I had Vaporeon, I had both, I didn't care. I loved the woman in the anime who had a Blastoise. She was on the Orange Islands and she was like a gym leader. I loved her. So I'm going to say A just because of those reasons. Okay, let's get the next set. Caterpie family. Oh, this is a base uh, Caterpie. No, it's not. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's a um, it's a gold and silver. Um, something. Uh, I think the second set of gold and silver, but I forgot what it's called. Anyway, that's a cool card, isn't it? And that one's from the same set. And then Butterfree is from Sun and Moon base set, I think. Which is quite a nice one. Okay, I love Butterfree. I always played with Butterfree. I I still do like <laughs> any game I play, I, I generally have a Butterfree because you catch it really early on. It evolves so early. Um, it's cute, it has psychic moves, and psychic moves were the best in Gen 1, we all know this. Um, and even today, psychic is great. It's got stun, stun powder, poison powder, sleep spore. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Poison powder, sleep powder, stun spore. It has those, which is amazing. It has supersonic as well, if you feel like doing that too. Um... I I love I love this line. I'm going to put it as A. <laughs> Imagine just like I put everything as A because <laughs> I love Gen One. <laughs> okay, Weedle. I mean, hello. How cute is that Weedle? I can't believe I don't remember. You know, a year ago I would have known all of these sets, but I haven't done anything with Pokemon cards in like a year. Or two years, maybe. I mean, the state of Pokemon cards right now, like, they're impossible to buy. <laughs> so tragic. But okay, that Weedle is adorable. That Kakuna is also pretty cute. This Gen 2 Kakuna. And that is a Generations Beedrill. Beedrill is garbage. It's absolute garbage. I'm gonna put it in F. I'm not a fan. Yeah, it's just like, it's, no, I don't like it. Okay. Um, now we've got Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot. And this Pidgeot is from Jungle. So this card is like, how old? Like 20, over 20 years old. So that's kind of cool. Um... And these two are just from like mm, Flash Fire or something like that, or oh, I don't know, some kind of X and Y set, I think. Wait, no. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I feel about these? I like Pidgeot. Um, it's a pretty powerful Pokemon to have. Evolves pretty early. Can learn fly, which is great, but it's not like that cool. I I think it's it's probably um, probably same level as Venusaur. I think. Next 
next set. Okay, Rarata and Raticate. Um, I actually, I think Raticate is actually a lot stronger than I ever realised. Um, because it doesn't look like it's going to be strong, but it's actually pretty powerful. I just think it is so ugly, and also I have a bad feeling about Raticate. Um, you know the episode of the anime where Ash trades his Butterfree for a Raticate? With this guy who has this, like, weird, like, southern accent, like, American southern accent. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like a... What's that state? Um, uh, state that, like, I associate with, like, growing tobacco. What state is that? <laughs> I feel like he had that accent. I... I've forgotten what state it is. <laughs> he had that accent. Anyway. Um, and yeah, he swapped his Butterfree for Eradicate. And it's the first time we saw a trade in the game. And I was really upset about it. <laughs> I, was... <laughs> I think I actually cried. Okay, I was like 10 years old at the time. I think I cried. Because I loved Butterfree. I loved Ash's Butterfree. He'd had it, you know, since... Had to be. It was his first Pokemon he ever caught. Um, I mean, he traded away. He had this Raticate, and there was no emotional connection to the Raticate. It was just like a. It was just a Pokemon, and I just. It upset me. Um, he traded back, so that was fine. But because of that, I just don't like Raticate. Um. So I'm gonna have to rate it low. Like, maybe not Beedrill level, but, like, I'm going to put it in as E. Yeah. Although, I will say, Raticate Break, I love. I love Raticate Break. I had a whole deck based on Raticate Break. I loved it. Um, but that doesn't redeem it. <laughs> okay, Spear and Fero. Um, I think these are from, uh, what's the one called with all the flying Pokemon? <laughs> with the, with the, what's that Pokemon called? <laughs> uh, what's the, what's the green <laughs> emerald Pokemon called? What's the name? Rayquaza, okay. Um, it's from that set. And I've actually, f oh, Roaring Skies, okay, it's from Roaring Skies. Okay, um, I actually prefer Fero to Pidgeot, even though it's so ugly, and especially its back sprite is so ugly. Um, I think Pidgeot is more iconic though, and like the Pidgeotto from the anime is iconic. Um, so I'm going to rate these as lower than that, so I'm going to put this as like a C. an Arbok. Um, obviously Arbok is, well both of these are iconic because of the anime, we love Jessie. Um, I think, yeah these are good for that reason, but I've, I've literally never used one of these in the Pokemon game. I have never put an Ekans on my team, like literally never. Um, I, they're going to have to be E. Pikachu and Raichu. Now I might rate these separately because I feel like they are quite... Like Pikachu itself is like a a thing, you know. In, in case you didn't know, Pikachu's a thing. This promo though, on my days, how cute is this? They're like eating a picnic. Um, oh, and the attack's called Let's Eat Together. <laughs> um, Pikachu, obviously iconic. I didn't, I was never, like, a huge fan of Pikachu. Um, but until Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Pikachu, that Pikachu is so cute. But it's still, like, not amazing for me. It's probably, like, a B. 
and Raichu is probably a C. It's like whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not like crazy about Raichu. Sanshu and Sanslash, however, I love these. I've always used these since like I was a kid. I loved Sanslash. I just think there's something really nice about it. Um, and the Sanshu from the anime with that guy who was. It's North Carolina. That's that's the state I was thinking. No, 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 no. South Carolina. That's the state I was thinking of. South Carolina, right? Is that the state I'm thinking of? If you're American and you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> comment, please. And if you know that guy's accent, comment, comment if I'm right about that. <laughs> but no, this the, there's another anime guy who had a Sanshu. And he was like crazy, like... Uh, like whipping his Pokemon and like making them wear like a macho brace and stuff and he had a hundred wins with his Sanshu and like Ash was being all like Peter about it but actually Sanshu loved his owner and not in like a Stockholm Syndrome way like he honestly loved the fact that his owner was pushing him so hard and that they were so successful and I just thought it was lovely and Sandslash is A tier Nidoran female family. Um, by the way, this is a jungle Nido queen. She's really cool. Um, this one is, looks like a Gen 3 card, but I don't know what set. Oh, no, sorry. It's Gen 4. No, it's Gen... <laughs> wait. Yeah, this is gold silver. This is gold silver. You can tell by the border. Border is gold and silver. Um, sorry, I mean, I don't mean gold silver, I mean heart gold, soul silver. Um, yeah, okay, anyway. Uh, these are just like, I mean, I think Nidoran is super cute. And I quite like the design of the other two as well, but I never use them. They're just not very useful. Poison is just like not, not great. Um, I think it's a cool design. I love my shiny Nidorina, uh, sorry, Nidoran, but they're just kind of like meh. I think maybe the same as like Fira and Raichu. I'm, I realize that like a C and D is basically one category here. Let's just like, because there's not enough space. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and then the male version. Look at this one. Giovanni's Nidorino. From Gym Challenge or Gym Heroes. I don't know which. It's pretty cool. That one though. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. With a little baby. It's like a daddy and his baby. That is so cute. Which says this? 2016. I don't remember it. Is this like the gear one? It's got a little gear. Is this like the Magirna set? Um, break? No. Come on, you know what this is called. Oh, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> Steam Siege. Steam Siege. Okay. Um, I, the, these are the same as Nita Queen. Okay, Clefairy and Clefable. Um, I should have put my, I have an Erica's Clefable, first generation. I should have put that here. Where is that card? I haven't lost that card. Okay, um, this Clefairy though. <laughs> Um, I love Clefable. I think it's really cool. Really cute. 
for some um, A tier. I never used one, but I just liked its design. I do have a shiny one. Well, I think I it's still a Clefairy. I think I hatched it. Oh no, I think it's still a Cleffa. I forgot about Cleffa. Yeah, I have a shiny Cleffa that I hatched. Should do something with that. Okay. Full picks and nine tails. Um I didn't care for these too much as a kid, I think. Um, because I had the wrong version, right? These are only in red and I had blue, or wait, maybe not. Or I just never caught one. Um, but if all picks is so cute and nine tails is really pretty. And then like I have a hidden ability shiny nine tails with drought. And it has really cool moves and everything, and I think it's just so cool. I've never used it, but like I have it. <laughs> So that's a really cool Pokemon. I think I'm going to give that a tier. Okay. Jigglypuff, no questions asked, is S tier. Like, that's not even up for debate. Jigglypuff was my favourite all through primary school. I still love it today. It's so cute. It's iconic. The anime character is just wonderful. Um, Smash Bros character, great. Um, it's it's just a perfect Pokemon. It's amazing. It's S tier, and therefore by definition, Wigglytuff is terrible because Wigglytuff is like a Jigglypuff that you've evolved and is no longer a Jigglypuff. I used to hate Wigglytuff as a kid. Now I'm just kind of like meh about it, and it's probably like an E. No, it is still cute though, so maybe a C slash D. You know what's quite funny to me? So I'm a teacher and I live in England, which means I have to decide my students' A-level grades are like myself, when normally they do proper exams to get those decided. But this year I decide them. And now I'm thinking like, why don't I just do this with all of my students? And just like tier rank them. I mean, that's essentially what I've been asked to do. It's a lot easier with Pokemon, though. Okay, these guys. I love Crobat. These are not Crobat. But they become Crobat. And therefore they are A-tier. Goddish Gloom, Vile Plume. Um... I always liked to play with these. Um, I My brother traded me uh, these because he had red and I had blue. But I always knew I wanted a vile plume. The annoying thing with Gloom is like it doesn't evolve. Like you have to wait until like level 54 before you can evolve it. Which is usually after the Elite Four, which is like really annoying. But vile plume is really cute. I think I have to make it A tier. Oops. Let's put this on this side. Putting all of these back at the end is going to be so much fun. Okay, next set. Paris and Parasect. I loved Paris in the anime. thought it was adorable, but it's still trash. Um, it's like eat here. Venonat and Venomoth. Venomoth has a really cool shiny. I love that it evolved mid-battle against Koga, no, well, Koga's one evolved mid-battle against Ash, which was really cool, but it's still trash. Dekula and Dugtrio. Um, 
it's trash. A Dug Trio is pretty good against Lieutenant Surge, but no. Meowth and Persian. Um, I guess we should rank these separately. Meowth as a character is really cool. Um, and it's a cat, so it's probably the same level as Pikachu. Persian though, actually I quite like the Persian character in the anime. It's kind of like the evil thing, but it's, yeah, it's like E. Psyduck and Golduck, I love these cards. These are Gen 4 cards. They look really cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, Psyduck in the anime. I think we'll do these separately. Psyduck is a really great character in the anime again, so he's going to go B tier. But Golduck is like whatever, so it's like E tier. Primeape. Well, for a start, I mean, hello. This is an e-reader card. How cool is that? I think I don't have many e-reader cards, but this is really cool. I'm not sure which set this is. It's from 2002, so it's almost 20 years old. Um, and the Primeape is even older. It's a dark Primeape from the Rocket set. And it's first edition, which is pretty cool. This I actually pulled, like I bought a pack of first edition rocket cards when I was on holiday visiting my grandparents when I was like 10 or 11. Um, and yeah, this was the rare, no, this is an uncommon. This is the uncommon I got. The rare that I got was... Um, no, I can't remember. <laughs> um, okay, I really like using these in my games. I used one in my Nuzlocke. It was great. Very useful Pokemon. I think it's kind of ugly though, so it's probably B. Growlithe and Arcanine. I used an Arcanine competitively when I was really into that in Gen 4. So I bred this Arcanine, it had like extreme speed and um, flare blitz, thunder fang and maybe crunch. Um, and it was awesome. Actually to be honest it wasn't that good. Um, breeding was quite hard in those days. But I like it. It's gonna be a the pollies. This polywag is so cute. Is this um what set is this? Oh yeah, that's a gold and silver set, so gen two. Really cute. Um that one's super cute too. It's also gen two. That's evolutions. Um, I never used it in the game, because I never fished. Like, fishing was just annoying. Um, it's like, just meh. It's like, E. Okay, I don't have Alakazam with me, but um, these are two rocket um, Pokemon. Abra and Dark Kadabra. Kadabra is obviously a very rare card, because it doesn't get printed anymore. Although, I think the um, lawsuit thingy has been lifted now. These are really good Pokemon. Like, they have to be A tier. Even though they're so ugly, they have to be A tier. They're just, they're just really good. We're not even halfway through. I 
only have one S tier Pokemon so far. Okay. These guys. I hate this Machoke. It's it's like uncanny valley. You know, uh, it looks too human. This Machamp though is fire. Even though like the the crotch is too prominent in this. Um these I don't care about at all. They're like like, I don't actively hate them, but I don't like them. These. Oh, this card. I use this card so much. Um, what even does this do? Yes. Discard a grass energy, and then your opponent's active Pokemon is confused and poisoned. I used this card so much. Um, but the actual Pokemon, never really used it. Victory Bell in the anime was kind of cool. But, um, I think it'd be like C slash D. Tentacool and Tentacruel. The only thing, the only redeeming quality of these, no, there's two redeeming qualities. Number one, the shiny is awesome. Number two, um, they give you special defense EVs, and, and, you know, they're so common, like, you can just go surfing in a particular place, and you're just pretty much gonna find these, and you can get a lot of special defense EVs. Other than that, they're disgusting. They're gonna go in E. Geodude, Graveler, Golem. Ooh, Fossil. That's a Fossil as well. That artwork is so cool. I love it. Um, these... They're okay. I mean, obviously I loved my um, Geodude in... Well, I think it evolved. Um, I loved it in my Nuzlocke until it died. Um, I don't think it even evolved actually. I think it was like about to evolve. Um, it's pretty useful. It's probably B tier actually. Mm, maybe it's B tier because of the Nuzlocke. Okay, Ponyta and Rapidash. These for me are S tier. Um, especially Rapidash, okay? I love Rapidash. It's beautiful, majestic, uh, it's, you know, hug it whilst sleeping, etc. Like, I just love this Pokemon. I think it's so cool. I love that you can ride on it in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. I got a shiny one in that game, as you might remember. Um, I think it's amazing. It's just a great design. It's simple but effective, and the shiny is really cool too. Slowpoke and Slowbro. These are pointless Pokemon. These can go in E. Just notice like all this wasted space at the side. Let me shift everything. I can't really tell if this is in frame because my camera is a bit weird. Okay, I have some more space now. Magnemite and Magneton. This ooh, this is an original base set. 
hollow in pretty nice condition. I mean, compared to my other ones, <laughs> it's pretty nice. And this card I pulled myself as a kid, like 23 years ago or something. Um, these Pokemon I really don't care about. I can go in E. Farfetch'd, I mean, Farfetch'd is cool. Like, look at him. He looks cool. Um, it's like, it's like C slash D. Because it's cool, but I would never use it. Doduo and Dodrio. They're, these are not cool. These are not cute, but very powerful in Gen 1. So they deserve a B. Seal and Dugong. This Dugong. Oh no, that's evolutions. I thought it I thought it was um original because it looked kind of messed up. But no, it's just a messed up evolutions card. Um wait. Evolutions, yeah. I was gonna say generations, but that was the other one. Um these are like whatever. I've got like three shiny dugongs because I was trying to find a shiny um deli bird for like three Christmases in a row <laughs> and I just kept getting dugong. And shiny dugong is a scam. It's it's just slightly cream coloured. It's just oh. these are E. Grimer and Muck. This is actually a dark muck. It's a rocket card. Um I think I think these Pokemon are really cute. Um I have a soft spot for them because of Pokemon Snap. Um and also Pokemon Go. They were very rare for me in Pokemon Go. Um, so I kind of like them because of that. I kind of want to put them in this tier. I never used them because you caught them too late in the game. So I like Alolan Muck though. Shelter and Cloyster. These are like whatever. Never use these. Actually, these are quite annoying because they use that attack that clamps you and then you can't do anything. Uh, these can go in E as well. Alright. Oh, this. This is in the wrong sleeve. This was um, in my deck, right? I used to use this one. Yeah, creep show. Look at that. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, this Pokemon is knocked out. I think I used to use this with Raticate Break. Because Raticate Break did something cool. Oh, no, that did that, like, poison it? Um, um, I can't remember. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of it, the wrong deck. But I used to use a deck with Gengar in it. And I really like this. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, this is a really cool Pokemon, honestly. This is going to be A tier. Onyx is trash. E tier. <laughs> These are disgusting. F tier. Just, just no. Um, Krabby and Kingler. Um, I liked these in the anime. I thought they were really cool. I liked the the way they talked, especially. Um, but I'm not huge on crabs, honestly. Um, these can go in uh, this tier, whatever this is. E. Okay, Voltorb and Electrode are very pointless Pokemon. They don't even do electric moves in Gen 1. Um, and then, like, when you find one in the wild, it uses explosions, so I don't like these. 
these might be F tier, except I find Electrode really cute. And the shiny is really cool. So it's gonna it's redeemed itself, it's gonna be E. These two guys I don't love. I know Executor is like really strong in Gen 1, but I don't love them. I think these would be E as well. I just don't really care about them. Cubone, where's Marowak? Okay, I don't know how I got there. Cubone and Marowak. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, this Cubone card makes me cry if I look at it for too long. So let's quickly put it down. Um, I think it's gonna be like E. It's just like one of those I don't really care too much about. Him on Chan. Meh. Meh. Hitmon Lee. I had one in my Nuzlocke, so it gets promoted to CD. Licky Tongue. It's just... Ugh. No, it's just... <laughs> no, it's just no. Uh, did I like Jesse's one in the anime? No, I didn't. Um... And this was the last Pokemon I needed to complete my decks in Pokemon Go, the first generation. Which actually, oddly, makes me like it more, so... It's... It's E. It's not quite F. and wheezing. That's a hot gold soul silver and that is a rocket. I just think this is the hollow because the hollow on the rockets is really faint. I don't think this is hollow. Okay um these are pretty gross. I mean they look like tumors. Um the coughing, coughing in the anime is super cute though. So, just because of that, it gets E. Raihorn and Raidon, I really don't care about these Pokemon. They're, they're just so not special. I have a shiny Raidon, which I caught randomly in um, Let's Go Eevee. And I don't often get random shiny encounters. I, I mean, to be fair, I say random, like, I was on a slight chain. But only a slight chain. So it wasn't full odds, but I wasn't expecting a shiny. So like, and that kind of makes me like it more, but it wasn't even a good shiny. Like it's just... So these can be E. Chansey is really cute, really cool, really powerful. Um, I think it's probably B. Tangela. Pointless. E. Kangaskhan. A cool idea. But I hate this card in particular. I had this card in the pre release. Um, I'd forgotten what set this is. But I went to a pre release of this set. It was like a prism one, wasn't it? No. No. That was Sun and Moon. This is. I don't know what this was. Um. But it was this was a bad card for a pre-release because look, you need four energy. You know, retreat cost was three. It was just terrible. So yeah. E. Horsey and Cedra. I mean, oh look at that first edition for uh, fossil. Just the horsey is first edition. Um, horsey is adorable. Cedra, like, Cedra's like meh, but Kingdra is really cool. So, I think it's probably a B. Goldine and Sea King. Uh, these are like meh. Star you and Starmie. 
Starmie is actually a really good Pokemon. I never really used it. Like, I never ever used it. But I think it's a cool Pokemon and it's good. So I'm going to put C. Mr. Mime. He's kind of cool. But, I, yeah, probably the same. CD. Scyther. Never really been a fan. I hate its voice in the anime so much. But I don't hate the Pokemon, so it can be E. Jinx. I'm not into it. E. Electabuzz, Magma, same. All of those kind of Pokemon I'm just like... Like, Pinsir is the same. It's like, whatever. Oh, and whilst we're at it, Taurus as well. This is a nice set. Got some good ones here. Okay, Magikarp and Gyarados. Um, they're pretty good. I like them. Um, maybe, probably a C slash D. Lapras is really cool. I love the design. Um, mm, mm, B. Ditto is S. I love Ditto. Oh, you can't see it. It's up there anyway. I love Ditto. One of my favourite Pokemon of all time. Um, I loved the Ditto episode of the anime. I love using Ditto. I used Ditto competitively in Gen 4. It was terrible. Like, I never won, but like I, I loved it. Um, yeah, everything about Ditto is top tier. <laughs> Eevee, that's S tier too, obviously. Um, I feel like I should move these down so you can see them. Also, what Eevee is this? It's a gold and silver one. Oh, is it called Genesis? Was it called Neo? It was called Neo Discovery. Or Neo... I forget, whatever. Um, yeah, love Eevee, we know this. Vaporeon, okay, this is a cool Vaporeon. This is a Delta species card, which is very cool. Um, is this like Reverse Hollow? Yeah, I think, hmm, I don't know. This is S tier as well. I love Vaporeon. So powerful, so cute, so cool. Used it every single time. Um, Jolteon and Flareon, I don't love as much. We all know I have a bit of a history with Jolteon. <laughs> but these are still like, they're so cool. They're just good. So these are A tier. We're almost done. Gun. It's a cool Pokemon. There's something a bit creepy about it though. Um, and I was a bit spooked by that episode, you know, that like loads of kids had seizures and stuff. So it's there's something a bit ominous about Porygon. Um, but I think I'd give it a C. It's a cool design. Armor Knight, this Pokemon card is so cute. And the Armor Star is cool too. Um, this is like the, you know, the Lord Helix meme thing, you know, from Twitch Plays Pokemon, so it's cool because of that, but I, I just, I don't really care about it. Kabuto and Kabutops, they're just like, yeah, whatever. Aerodactyl, it's cool, but it's whatever. Snorlax, I'm a fan of Munchlax. Snorlax is maybe C tier. Our 
Articuno. Um, probably my, well, definitely my favourite out of the legendary birds. But I don't love it. I think it'd be B tier. Zapdos, I don't really like. It's probably E tier. Moltres, this particular card is beautiful. I love it. Um, but it's like whatever. Um, it's, yeah, it's E tier. Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Um, I like these in theory, but I've never used them because you just, you don't get them until right near the end. They're hard to get, they're hard to evolve. Um, but a, I mean, a shiny Dratini would be the dream, honestly. It's so cute, so cool. Shiny Dragonite is terrible. These would probably be a C tier. Mewtwo. It's a nice promo card. Looks nothing like Mewtwo in this picture, but okay. Um, I mean, I would never use it, really. Um, as far as legendary designs go, I think it's a cool one. It's obviously very powerful. Um, i probably give it a B. In terms of design and stuff. And it's obviously powerful. And then we have Mew. Now as far as mythicals go, Mew is one of the best. Um, I'd give it, I think I'd give it an A. I think I'd give it an A. Okay, well that's it. That's all of the, the Gen 1 Pokemon tier ranked. Um, so you can see my favourites. And these favourites were also my favourites when I was 10 years old. <laughs> um, my taste in Pokemon has really not changed. So that's interesting. But yeah, this was um very fun to do. It's going to be not fun putting them all back into my binder, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed. And um, thank you for the suggestion, which was from... Someone, I forgot. Someone suggested I do this, and I've forgotten who it was. Um, but thank you to that person. <laughs> If you have any more video ideas,